we're starting to see now is interest rate risk really bite in a way that we haven't seen for generations. It's almost reminiscent of the savings and loan crisis in the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. Most of the industry, myself included, doesn't really have experience with this level of interest rate risk and the consequences of it, how quickly they can manifest. But what's evident, should be evident to all of us now, is that those risks have to be managed, not just monitored, but managed. And that means taking action and changing our mindsets so that we have the strategies and the tools to take action. And for credit unions, what that means is hedging, having a program in place where you are able to take action to limit interest rate risk. That means policies, procedures, market access, and education, both at the management and the board level, in terms of what instruments can be utilized and what types of strategies can help us limit our interest rate risk. Because what we've seen over the course of the last week is not necessarily a one-time event. It may be the beginning of an era where interest rate volatility is a feature. We have inflationary forces and deflationary forces that are out in force. We still have inflation that's sticky. And now we have a banking crisis and very little can be as deflationary as a banking crisis. So there's potential for, rate, for rates to stay higher for longer, as we all thought a couple of weeks ago. And there's also potential for rates to drop rather quickly in the event that there's a hard landing following this QT cycle, which is now today perhaps looking more likely. But one thing's for certain, nobody, and I mean nobody, knows for sure what's going to happen. But the tail risks need to be considered very carefully. And I would suggest managed through the utilization of derivatives to create hedging strategies so that the consequences of tail events are less drastic and in some cases dire. And everyone at credit unions needs to consider the equipment they have available to them and whether they're in position to take that sort of action if necessary. If the answer is no, then I think this is your moment to start looking into it and shortly after a period of research, taking action. Because action takes time to transpire. A project of this sort takes coordination with your board, the adoption of policies, market access by developing and arranging relationships with dealers. And then you have to do education to have some sense of what strategies are out there. The thing about hedging with derivatives is you dramatically expand your option set in terms of how you want to calibrate your interest rate risk. But there's cost to doing so. There's all sorts of trade-offs involved. And it takes time to work through those strategies and find the right balance.